Hey everybody, welcome back to Unreal, uh, Unreal Gold rather. Uh, let's see here. Um, you got a comment? Yeah, manual saving is awesome compared to a bullshit autosave system. Yeah, I feel like your pain, dude. Uh, there's been a couple of games I've played where it's been nothing but the autosave crap. And yeah, it's nothing to write home about, that's for damn sure. And oh wow, it spread its legs. Yeah, that gun starts doing some other really odd shit, too. It's a really cool gun. It's very powerful if you find all the upgrades, but it is a bit of a weird one. That said... There we go. Sacred Passage it is. We're through the mines, and now we are into some, uh, Nolly... Well, I guess it would be a temple, not really ruins. I can't hit this bastard. Oh, fuck me. That's kind of bullshit. Okay, hit Pan Con. Oh, the fucking fish. Yeah, there's no way to actually get in there uh, above ground. So you better swim fast. Unless you have a rebreather, which I don't, so... Motherfuckers. You must have a keen eye so that you may bathe in the sacred waters. Oops, that means basically keep your eye open. One of these things is not quite like the others. Flat textures, flat textures, not so flat. Oh, what the? That's kind of bullshit there. I mean, it didn't do a lot of damage. It's a little tiny fish, but still, the instantly start doing huge amounts of damage. Well, not huge, but, you know, still start tearing up my shield belt. That's admittedly more than a little irritating. And one of our first few puzzles. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. One of the purest of heart may pay homage to the god of the good lore of Chisra. Any more religious messages now? Okay, no, uh... No, uh, uh, log messages from that guy. Wood must break free. For that will be the key. Okay. 
solve a minor little puzzle here. Yeah, we are inside the temple. Gotta do some more Indiana Jones bullshit. Okay, yeah, those guys play dead, so you gotta kinda watch out for them. Oh yeah, wood must break free, okay. Door? Yeah, that's the front door. Okay. All right, what you got for me, buddy? got me some flares and some ammo which I don't really need the ammo but the flares are appreciated oh, can't complain free stuff is free stuff I guess I don't really care too much about what's uh I guess I don't need any more ammo for that yeah I'm looking at the uh, ammo Waterfall display in the lower right hand corner, and yeah, there's not really any need for any more uh, pistol ammo. Alright, get some air and shoot the shark with the thing. There's another one. Flares will work underwater. Okay, they will. Oh, there we are. I'll leave the flashlight there you can only carry one flashlight at a time so it's best just to wait until you actually use uh, your other flashlight up or at least use some of it before you uh, go grabbing another one okay this that's right a lot of ammo for this thing so I might as well just go ahead and start open sessioning everything. Anything cool in here? No, not really. Biter fish. I guess we'll just go through here. No point to saving yet. Saving the ammo here, just might as well just grab it. I don't think I'll be coming back this way. I want to use a butt, and you want to use a fucking butt, so that's it. 
And here we go, into this mess. Oh, don't run, don't run ahead of me, buddy. Don't get ahead of me, you fucking idiot! Damn it! Ah, that dumb fuck was... He'd have been just fine if he'd have not ran ahead of me like a fucking retard. Yeah, we can't really go this way right here, so... Only a warrior who has touched the face of the water god idol may enter this temple. Okay, well, I gotta touch the face of the water god, or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, uh, blocks fall over and shit, by the way, in case you're wondering. Go! Get fucking around and go. Beyond this stone seal lies the inner ceremonial chambers of the Nali Water God. Only a warrior who wields a stick of six fires may enter the inner ceremonial chambers. Once the stick of six fires is in your grasp, the stone seal will rise. Okay, so I have to have the stick of six fires in order to uh, enter that fucking chamber. <coughs> okay, no, we gotta touch the face of God here. Um, let's see where it is. Or else I just drop down, I'm not sure which one. Okay, well I'm just gonna save and drop down and see what happens. Nali water god Chizra and his holy temple has been overrun by the water serpents and the demons who came from the stars. Only the Messiah can purify the temple now. Not sure where the Nali got this fucking prophecy from. Oh, he's fucking... Oh, you. Okay. Not dead yet, huh? Now you are. Where did fucking biter fish go? Oh. Shit, there we go. I guess killing them out of here fixed it. Alright, I guess this is the right way. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, 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 I hit a trap. Cue the laughter of some guy. Oh, fuck me. Don't go running off, you fucking idiot. Odds are there's probably shit that wants to kill you. Fuck. Fucking hell, get away. I remember this part and I hate this fucking part. These damn flies. Well, you want to open whatever the fuck it was you were trying to open? I mean, I would be appreciated. Oh, yeah.
you can't tell there's anything up there. I don't remember. There might be, so I'm gonna save and go after it anyway, so. Because one never knows. No, okay. Not going to go through all that extra crap. I'm just wrong button. <coughs> Alright, that puts us back up here. I swore I got that. I got it, okay. Fuck, I can't shoot the shit. Yeah, the only way you're gonna hurt me, buddy, is to get it close. No one did. Okay, I would really rather you didn't, you know, do your meditating right where I have to jump across that. Oh yeah, this. What the fuck? Oh, that damn... Oh, fuck you with this bullshit. I gotta look around more. Whatever, get out of my way. There we go. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that damn thing. It'll take some serious health out of you. There's no percentage uh, of enemies you've killed in the end of this, so you can let enemies live. It doesn't really matter. There we go. A little bit of a story time. 1,400 hours. Commander Mac Harrison. Sit rep. These local natives have a six-barreled rocket launcher on an altar, but it is heavily guarded by those salamander things. The stick of six fires is what the Nolly keep calling it. I'll try to sneak in tonight. The other people have survived and managed to make it this far. But... Unfortunately... Nobody else seems to survive. Your... Protagonist here seems to be... Shit. Especially suited... To surviving here. So we are filled back up. See if there's any sniper spots. Oh, shit, hello. Climb the loose stones to reach the lagoon of lightning fire. Beware the demon who came from the stars lurks in the shadows. A fool shall surely perish. Well, I'm fucked. Oh. Yep, Indiana Jones bullshit. But this was made back in the day when they could kind of get away with this sort of thing. You know, I mean... The game was absolutely fantastic for the time. I mean, it still holds up reasonably well for a game of its age. I mean, it still runs pretty good. It's actually fun to play. You know, controls are like modern. Oh, fuck me running. I'm talking about the controls in here. I hit the jump button and nothing happens. You don't need the knife. Put off. Put off. 
Okay, who are you freaking out about? I hope you're not freaking out on me, because I'm not trying to fucking hurt you. Beyond this golden door lies the holy altar of the Stick of Six Fires. Only by touching the outset stones of the lightning fire pillars may one enter. Ah, oh, fuck me, running. Okay, I need to find the... I see that shark coming, or at least I saw the shadow. There we go. The other way. Fuck, there's sharks everywhere. Oh, he's in the fucking water, too. You piece of shit. Fuck you. I need another shield belt. I guess I gotta hit another, right? Okay, so is there another pillar I have to hit? Because this door don't seem to want to open. Oh, I opened this one. I'm pretty sure I didn't shoot you, so I'm not sure what the hell you're freaking out on me for. You might not want to fucking grovel right there, because that could have very, very bad consequences for you. So he's going to lose all of his health because he's a fucking idiot. Beware those of impure motives who enter the pool of thunder shall face the demon from the stars. This is the obelisk of, cloud, of the clouds. Beyond here lies the pool of thunder. To reach a pool of thunder, one must climb the loose stones. Powerful strength comes from those who let the waterfall wash over them at the pool of thunder. Okay, uh... Well, he's not fucking panicking. Me run and die. Fucking die, you piece of shit. shit. Ah, fucking. There's shit underwater blocking me from circle shaking this piece of shit. I just had, wound up having to stand there and take it. But that's okay because I'm about to get refreshed. Diving kit. Uh, scuba gear. There, fuckers. The waterfall. Yep, 100% health. The demons came down from the stars in a metal chariot as punishment for the sins of Anali. This is the pool of thunder. Impure souls who bathe in the water shall face the demon that came from the stars. Yeah, well. I guess I, considering my guy came from prison. 
I guess he would technically be an impure soul, right? I guess, because I don't know, it just eh, whatever. Does this guy die yet? Or is he still getting slammed in the door? Or did he move? Hell who knows. He should have been fucking uh, meditating right there, should he? The stick of six fires came from the Nolly Water God when the star fell from the sky. To find the star, one must pass through the ceremonial wing. Take the stick of six of fires and go forth to the inner ceremonial chamber. There you'll still find your way back to the place from whence you came and the metal chariot that fell from the stars. The stick of six fires, yeah, blah, 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 anyway. You have to bathe in that water in order to get the uh, stick of six fires. It's called the eight ball, actually. Only has six barrels. Don't ask me how that works. But we're going to uh, save this for now because we don't have any ammunition for it. And, well, let's not squander what we have, right? We are going to need it. Indeed. You first. Oh, fuck me running. Oh, of course. Ah, fucking son of a bitch. I think I saved right there, so, uh, or a moment ago. Ah, no. I don't want to get squished, squished by the fucking door. So where's that damn... He's down there. Oh, you piece of shit. Fuck you. The pyramid center is the focal point of Chisra, the Nolly Water God's power. Okay. Alright, cool. What did that do for me? Okay, so I've got that. All right, good. I had to check. We pushed that button, so let's... Save. I'm not sure why you're playing dead, buddy, but, you know, whatever. Ammo for the eight ball. Got some Nolly crucified there. Could probably put them out of their misery, but I don't remember if that counts as murdering them or not, so whatever. They are sadly on their own. And I'm going to save the uh, scuba gear for later. Okay, so this has to, this is the last area. It goes into the portal, so. Fucking Christ. Well, he murdered that Nolly, but I don't think there's anything for the Nolly to show me, so. Alright, guys. I think that is probably a pretty good spot to call it. Uh, I'll tell you, that would be about 28 minutes, give or take, I think. So, well, maybe we can... No, I, I, this, I think... I remember this particular mission or map as being rather... A little bit on the long and intricate side. So, I think, yeah, that's a good spot to call it. 
So I will catch you guys next time, and we will continue exploring this Nali Temple and getting through it, and hopefully into the valley on the other side, where we'll find out a little bit more about this fucked up planet and just how many ships have actually crashed on this fucker. And let me tell you, it is not just a couple. It's actually quite a few. So with that, I will see you guys next time.